Well, Cynthia, congratulations Thank on the you. film. Now, you've actually made a really meteoric rise in films. Anyway, mm -hmm. you had an acting career in mm -hmm. the theatre, obviously, but you burst onto our screens in Widows. Mm -hmm. You've been in Bad Times at the El Royale, mm -hmm. now Harriet. Yeah. How do you go about choosing your roles? Because you've obviously got an eye for really what I would call meaty ones. Yeah, um, I, I look for the women who have fully realised stories. That's what I'm interested in doing. Uh, they don't necessarily have to be easy stories. Um, I just I just want to tell the stories of people who probably haven't been seen before and probably haven't been heard from yet. Um, and that's what interests me. So I try and pick those women. Yeah. And you were actually attached to this particular role for mm -hmm. some time. What, yeah. was, what was the appeal? Um, it was the, the fact that her story had not been told yet, and I knew that they had had the script for a really long time after having a conversation with Deborah Martin Chase, and she had said that they had had it for a while and it had been sitting on a shelf, and she had gotten tired of it being on the shelf, and she had wanted to make it, and I wanted to help her with that, and and. I was moved by the fact that she had the faith in me to play this role, but I also was like, it's time to tell this woman's story. I knew of her already, and I knew of the heroic nature of her life, um, but I also wanted people to see her as a human being, like fully real. So from what you knew about her, mm -hmm. how does it feel to play such an iconic figure from history? Um, it feels like a huge honour and it feels overwhelming and I felt like I had a huge responsibility to make sure it was done well and as fully as I possibly could and as, as truthfully as I possibly could. Um, and I, I hope I've made some people proud. That's that's my aim. I want to make sure that there are people out here that can look to it and, and learn from her and learn from, from the film as a whole. Yeah, It's a very physical role. Yes. Yes, very, very demanding, I assume. I mean, how yeah. good a swimmer are you, really? Um, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> quite a good swimmer. Um, but, <laughs> uh, but luckily, that was probably one of the stunts that they wouldn't let me do. And I wanted to do it. But they were like, no, you can't jump into the moving stream. We're going to have someone else do it. But everything else was, was me, you know, climbing, running, chopping wood, walking into the water, all of that stuff up, up into my neck. That was all me. Um, and I... I loved it. I felt like it was necessary to try and, you know, see the story fall through fully. I felt like all of those moments were really informative uh, to, to the story, to the, the direction that she was going in. Uh, and it helped me fill her, you know, understanding what it felt like to, to have to run that much, to have to climb up the side of a cliff, to have to walk into freezing cold water. Like knowing that and having the actual experience was helpful. Yeah. And most actors will say that they don't actually like watching themselves on the screen, but I gather yeah. you do. <laughs> um, only sometimes. It <laughs> takes me some time to get used to it. Um, the first time I was petrified of watching it. Um, and now, I think more than anything, I like watching people watch. So like being in, in a room with other people watching it, yeah. I want to see what their reaction is. Rather than watching yourself yeah. and perhaps learning from it. I mean, I watched myself to learn from it because I'm the, my worst critic. I can't help yeah. it. Um, but after the initial time, um, then it's interesting to see what people get from it. Yeah. And your performance in Harriet has come in for a, a lot of praise already to mm. the extent that there's some awards buzz around it. How does that feel? <laughs> Kind of weird. Scary. <laughs> yeah, a little bit scary. Because, um, <laughs> you know, I never do it for, for that. And I'm, it's already strange uh, where I am when it comes to awards. And I'm, I'm very thankful, very grateful that people are having, you know, putting my name in the same sentence as awards and all of that. We'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. We'll see, yeah. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Thank you.